Okay, I'm going to do a comparison on St. Kitts and Nevis and Antigua and Barbuda's rates for their donation options and also their real estate options. Now, uh, as everybody knows, St. Kitts just doubled their uh, donation option rate. So I'm going to do that a comparison so you can kind of see what that difference is. And then I'm going to show you uh, what I feel like is the best overall pick based on these figures I'm going to give you. And then you can make your own uh, decision. Uh, I would like to hear from you if you got a uh, question or anything like this to put it in. And uh, don't forget, hit the subscribe button right on your screen right here. You get new videos automatically as they come out. We'll have our WhatsApp number here on the top here where you can look and you call if you got any questions. And go to www.citizenshipquickly.com to get more information. Okay, now, St. Kitts and Nevis and uh, Antigua and Barbuda uh, rates for donation options and also their real estate options, things that you need to take in consideration in St. Kitts and Nevis um, is the visa-free travel. Uh, there has been quite a change in both countries in visa-free travel. Uh, some of the countries have actually dropped off on both co countries. Now, uh, St. Kitts has got uh, four countries more uh, visa-free or visa-free on arrival than um, Antigua and, and Barbuda. Now, uh, uh, Antigua's got 150 countries. Uh, St. Kitts has got uh, uh, 154. So there's like four differences. There's not that much difference. Um, so, you know, you're looking at uh, some other things you, you need to look at is the uh, uh, both of them don't have an income tax. In fact, they're the only ones, uh, these are the, of course, the only uh, of the fast track citizenship programs in the, in the Caribbean uh, that do not have an income tax. Now, Vanuatu is also a fast track program, but it's not in the Caribbean. It's in, uh, uh, you know, near Australia. It's a long ways away. And they've lost a lot of their visa free travel uh, to the, in fact, they've lost all their Schengen uh, countries. Uh, uh, so that, uh, that's not a good passport to even look at right now. In fact, it's got lower visa-free travel than any of the fast-track programs in the Caribbean now. Uh, now, these are the only fast-track citizenship programs in the Caribbean that, again, don't have an income tax. And uh, there are some things out that you need to know about each one of them, and then I'm going to go through the rates. St. Kitts and Nevis does not require the filing of Social Security by the owner of the company when setting up a local company in St. Kitts on himself. But Antigua and Barbuda does have these requirements. Now you do have to uh, uh, you do have to do it for your employees, but not for yourself personally in St. Kitts. Now you can get citizenship in Antigua and then set up a local company for your business in St. Kitts to escape the Social Security tax on yourself. Uh, but there are companies that uh, you cannot set up in St. Kitts if you're not a citizen of St. Kitts. Now these are protected industries that only citizens of St. Kitts can actually set up, and I've given you scenarios where I had a problem a long time ago, even being a citizen, uh, trying to get uh, set up in, in the real estate business. Now, there's freedom of movement between uh, Eastern Caribbean states for which St. Kitts and Antigua are part of, uh, but there's still protection against non-citizens getting into restricted industries unless you are a citizen uh, of the country where you're um, you know, setting up that business and, and something you need to look at this before you start getting a passport. This is something that uh, you definitely need to look at because you don't want to be learning this stuff after you've paid all kinds of money for a passport. And then you find out that, hell, you should have done something different, you know. Uh, but as of uh, August the 19th, which is today, 2023, uh, these are the rates for the St. Kitts and Nevis Citizenship Plan uh, for the donation option called the SISC contribution and also for the NDF uh, called the National Development Fund. And this is for Antigua and Barbuda, their donation option. And, you know, please keep in mind that none of the funds on the uh, donation options, you know, uh, are invested. So you need, you need to know that that's like a, it's like a big tax you're paying. So please take this in consideration that the legal fees we're left off uh, also on these options since uh, that's what the uh, a lawyer agrees to, to charge to do the uh, uh, the paperwork for the citizenship. And th this has nothing to do with the title changes. This is strictly the CIU paperwork to get citizenship. It's been left off on all four options because uh, you have to talk, you know, there is no government mandate for that. So you have to look at, you know, what they're going to give you for that. 
Now, all four of these plans are for a family of one person. So obviously, if you've got a bigger family, these figures will be different. But it will give you a, a, a comparison on you know uh, what the cost is going to be for a family of one. Now, Antigua and Barbuda National Development Fund has a fee of $100,000. i am not going to go through all of these fees, but just to tell you, uh, it is quite a bit less than St. Kitts's uh, a donation option now since uh, St. Kitts doubled their, their price. Uh, I'm going to give you the total figures just so you don't get confused. Uh, for the donation option, for which is the National Development Fund for um, Antigua and Barbuda, it's $138,480 U.S. dollars. Again, legal fees are left off this and the other ones too. Number two is the St. Kitts and Nevis SISC contribution. That's their donation option. Uh, the total on that is $261,156. It's a big difference, okay? If you take $261,156, which is the St. Kitts and Nevis donation option, SISC, you minus Antigua's rate, which is $138,480, you're going to save about $122,676 going with the Antigua option versus the uh, St. Kitts option. And we do, we deal with all of them. We deal with actually over a hundred different countries and Antigua is one of them. Okay. Um, now let's look at the Antigua real estate option. Now what you're going to have to consider when you're comparing these with Antigua and Dominica uh, is the two things I went over before. If you're going to set up a local company and you're wanting to avoid the social security tax um, and, and also the income tax, because both of these countries don't have an income tax but, but again, Antigua does have a social security tax on local companies. Uh, St. Kitts does not. Okay. So if you're not going to set up a local company, that's a mute subject anyway. You don't have to worry about it. Okay. And we're only talking about four countries difference on the visa free, visa free on arrival. So that's not a big difference unless those four countries really make a big difference to you. You'd have to look at those four countries and see if they're really going to make that much difference because St. Kitts does have four more visa-free or visa-free on arrival countries and territories. Other than that, you're looking at saving $122,676 on the donation option with uh, Antigua versus St. Kitts because St. Kitts just went up on their rates. Now, one thing I want to uh, mention to you is the fact that if you're going to be doing this, you need to make a move if you're going to be picking uh, uh, the non St. Kitts option because St. Kitts doubled their rate. They did it quick. They didn't tell anybody about it because the EU, the U S other statutory uh, jurisdictions that have a lot of control over uh, the finances that coming in and out of St. Kitts. Uh, they had a meeting with all of the, uh, the countries in the Caribbean with a fast track program. And they basically set some guidelines up with these people. If you want to do business in the future with our country, you're going to have to make some changes because you're letting people in. Uh, they're getting like the UK just canceled their visa with Dominica because Dominica had a bunch of people they were letting in their citizenship program uh, that that the UK had canceled, uh, either canceled their visa or wouldn't let them come into the country. In other words, they never approved their visa because they were a criminal or some other problem. And the UK got sick of it. And so what's happened is now they're... Uh, they're putting all these demands. If they want visa free to the UK, they want visa free to the Xinjiang countries. You're going to have to do this or you're going to lose it. Okay. And I'm going to tell you, they're going to change it. I can tell you that as a fact. St. Kitts jumped really quick. They doubled their right. Okay. Uh, Antigua, Grenada, all the other ones, St. Lucia, uh, Dominica, uh, they're all going to go way up on their rights. Okay. How much you don't know, and they're not going to warn you. St. Kitts didn't warn. They just doubled their rates and went way up, okay? Now, this is what it is. Now, it could be changed in a week from now. I have no idea, but I know these changes are getting ready to take place, okay? Now, Antigua real estate option, let's go over that. That's another option. Now, remember, folks, when you're looking at these, you want to go with the, as far as I'm concerned, this is what I always look at. Maybe you look at it different. I want to go with a program where I'm going to pay the least amount of fees, where I'm not going to, uh, the fees is going out that I'm not going to recoup. I want to get that figure as low as possible. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. Now let's look at the Antigua real estate. There is a minimum 
amount that you invest, which is 400,000. I'm going to give you the total figure with all the fees added instead of trying to break it out and everything. Uh, and Antigua and Barbuda have, uh, for the, for the minimum, if you pay them more than the minimum for the property, then this figure is going to be higher, but paying the minimum of 400,000 with the other fees, you will be paying 454,480 us dollars. This again, does not include the legal fees for the CIU paperwork. Okay. That's a different fee. Okay. So that's all that's going to be added to this too. Okay. Uh, so again, $454,480 is the total for the real estate option for uh, Antigua and Barbuda. Now let's look at St. Kitts's real estate option. All right. St. Kitts's real estate option, the total is $448,956. Uh, this is the total, not including the legal fee. So St. Kitts's real estate option is about $5,000. 524 US dollars cheaper than Antigua's real estate option. Okay. But I want to bring, this is real important. If you daydream and remember this, I'm going to go through this real slow because this is real important. You pick this up. Okay. We've got a developer that's going to pay. Uh, they'll actually pay your rent money that would have been paid out over five years up front. As soon as the property closes, which can actually pay a great deal of all your fees outside the real estate cost. So in essence, in some cases, you'll be paying for the expenses that uh, that is outside the cost of the real estate with out-of-pocket money because your your uh, rent money uh, paid you up front that normally would have been paid over five years uh, can take care of or most, uh, all of it or part of it, of all the cost of the real estate option uh, that's not part of the real estate. In other words, the, the fees and stuff outside the actual investment of the property, uh, the rental money will be enough to actually take care of that. Uh, or you can get into a rental pool that the program has and you can get a great rate of return on the rental income uh, as the rent's paid out. Uh, a lot of people like the, uh, the lease back option because you're getting all that money up front. You can use it to pay for these fees. Uh, that normally, you know, you would have to pay for the rent money that you're getting, that you're not having to wait for five years to get that money. You're getting, and you can pay off all those fees at one time. That's a great benefit, okay? Or if you want to take it, use it for Bitcoin or wherever you want to do, and then what can you do with that money over that time period? Now, the following is a list of fees on each of the uh, four options of getting citizenship in these two countries uh, that you will have to pay out for your citizenship that's not invested and uh, that you're not going to get back, okay? All right, so I'm breaking this out. What I'm doing is I'm taking the fees from each program uh, that you're, that's basically, it's just fees or it's either government fees or fees you're going to have to pay to legal, for legal fees or bank fees or whatever that you're not going to get back, okay? Antigua and Barbuda's out-of-pocket on their donation option is $138,480 U.S. dollars. The St. Kitts, uh, contribution out-of-pocket option is $261,156. Now, the Antigua and, uh, and, and uh, Barbuda real estate option on fees that you will not get back uh, drops all the way down to $54,480. So the most, the, the costliest one is the St. Kitts donation option. The, the second most costliest is the uh, Antigua donation option and then the third most uh, costly is the um, out-of-pocket where you're not going to get the money back is Antigua and Barbuda's real estate option, which is 54480 that you're going to lose out on that you will not recoup. And the cheapest is the uh, St. Kitts real estate option on fees that you won't get back, which is $48,956. Okay, but, but, but if you use this money from the leaseback option with your rent money, paid out to you up front, you can pay off all or maybe part of your fees up front that the developer pays you where you could be paying close to zero outside the property investment itself, okay? If you didn't get that, just listen to the video again. In essence, in some cases, uh, with this deal that I just proposed to you, you would pay only the, the 400000 You would pay the other money, okay, that's due, but what the company would be doing is they're going to be paying you back in the, the rent money right up front, which takes care of those fees. 
So in other words, it's going in your pocket, but you're just using that this paid up front to pay for all these other fees, if you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so if you really want to get in a program where you're, uh, you know, you're paying, you know, close to nothing because of the money you're getting paid up front from the real estate money for the rental, this is a great option to look at. If you want to know more on this, you can go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com and just ask for some help. And I would like to hear from you. If you got a question or comment, put it below. And again, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the right your screen right here. You'll get new videos automatically as they come out. We got right at a thousand videos now. And I look forward to talking to you on the next video. Take care.